Hello, everyone. I'm super excited to be uh, talking about how AMD, Xilinx, and TigerGraph have chosen to enable real-time graph analytics at scale. My name is Vinay Singh, and I'm a senior director uh, driving our ISV ecosystems partnerships at AMD. And I've been in, ind in the industry for 21 plus years, and I really enjoy uh, driving new products to market. And co-presenting with me is uh, my colleague and friend, uh, Kumar Deepak. Uh, he's a fellow and he's passionate about driving compute acceleration. And he has 25 plus years of experience. And he really enjoys architecting and developing large scale complex systems. In fact, after this talk, you will see his passion come through in how he has decided to take the uh, platform and drive it forward. So I'll cover you know, some of the challenges that we are trying to solve with graph algorithms and how AMD Xilinx is going to make it even better. Uh, and my, my colleague Kumar will really go into the depths of why Alveo and why FPGAs. How, why does it become so important to have these hardware accelerators? And then he'll talk about how we have made it super duper easy for you to adopt our technology without even knowing that you're gonna use it. And that's why we call it as a drop in replacement and we'll, some, we'll share some results. And in the end, you know, we'll have a live uh, Q&A chat where Kumar and I will be very happy to answer your questions. Relationships matter, not for personal reasons, but also in a lot of business cases. You know, whether you're talking about manufacturing digital twins in supply chain and routing optimization in customer 360 or customer experience and identity uh, in patient and member journey in trying to solve financial crimes and even in protecting uh, against financial fraud. All of these relationships matter and that's why graph databases natively store relationships and tiger graph is the only scalable graph database and analytics platform that is ready for the enterprise to scale for all these different use cases. And AMD and Xilinx, as AMD Xilinx, are super excited to be part of this journey with Diagraph. And what we have here are leadership products. The AMD Epic, which is our x86 CPU, is the industry's best compute engine that is purpose built to deliver high performance computing from enterprise to cloud. Our AMD and Sync GPUs are optimized for leadership performance for high performance computing and AI. And our adaptive acceleration portfolio with Alveo, Vercel, and Zinc has been continuously delivering leadership FPGAs and adaptive SOCs for accelerating algorithms. In fact, when Kumar talks about algorithm acceleration, he'll really dive in deeper in terms of how this adaptive acceleration can deliver the performance benefits that you're looking for. But before I talk, we talk about how we solve this problem. What is super exciting for us is that the AMD CPU GPU and the FPGA platform is purpose built to deliver compute acceleration for the entire data analytics ML pipeline from the extraction, transform, and load of the data sources to feature engineering, which is preparing your data for modeling and training, and then further gaining real time insights and inference capabilities on that data. In fact, we have proven. 10x to 100x to 100x acceleration for ETL, for feature engineering, and for insights and inference. And we are currently working on the modeling and training aspects. This is a roadmap item. So if you see the AMD platforms, which is a combination of CPU and GPU, today delivers smart caching acceleration. And then with the, well, we are working very closely with TigerGraph in bringing acceleration for feature engineering, 
modeling and training and insights and inference. And there are a whole range of algorithms that we have accelerated. If you look at this acceleration of the algorithms, this acceleration is not in you know, 10x or 20x. We are really talking about orders and orders of magnitude acceleration. We can do 100x acceleration for faster Levenstein at distance, 256x acceleration for maximal independent set, 50x for fast RT, 90x for cosine similarity and 45x with Lewin modularity. All of these accelerations can be delivered with a single AMD Alveo FPGA accelerator card. <clears throat> and Kumar will talk about that. But not only that, the AMD EPIC and the FPGA combined can further deliver a whole lot of acceleration that we have showcased with our reference architecture that we have produced with HPE. In this reference architecture, we have shown that we can reduce the, the RAM by 66% <coughs> and further improve your time to insight by 20x, while further providing 33% 30, accuracy improvement. And with this, I'd like to pass on to Kumar so he can show you the depth of the technology and really show you how we have architected the system. Kumar, please take it away. Thank you, Vinay. As Vinay alluded to, AMD LVO platform provides a massively parallel compute infrastructure. Not only it's faster, it's also power efficient. It takes a lot less power. So on this slide, I'm just giving you a preview of why and how that acceleration is achieved. On the right side, you see these Alveo cards, they have field programmable gate arrays, which is essentially an array of lots of ALUs, on-chip RAM, high bandwidth memory, uh, lookup tables for building combinatorial circuits, flip-flops, using which we allow you to create a custom digital circuit with custom data movement for your algorithm. And that's what makes this LVO card deliver you like 50 to 100x faster performance. Next slide. So now I wanted to take you a little uh, on a journey to really understand how and why these uh, FPGA devices provide this kind of massive acceleration. So on the left side, you see it allows you to do function level pipelining. Let's say your program has three functions, function one, function two, function three, and they're called in sequence. So even before uh, the whole uh, pipeline of one, two, and three are done, what you can do is as long as your first set of data has passed through function one, you can bring the new set of data into function one while the function two is processing that first set of data. And you can get the idea. So you pipeline it. And so unlike CPU and GPU, who, which allows you to do more instruction level pipelining, FPGA allows you to build this function level pipelining that gives you unprecedented performance for actual, uh, your whole program. And, and since this fabric has lots of ALUs and lots of parallel elements, you can create lots of copies of this function. So you can further divide your data and then you can have multiple uh, cores, if you will, to just process your data. And if your data size is big and your compute size is big, you don't have to stay limited to one card. You can get these LVO cards, which have FPGA on them to network natively. These have QSFP ports in them. 
So you don't have any overhead of operating system dealing with the network from the fabric, from the hardware, the metal, it directly goes to the switch and to the other card. So you, you're talking about you know, one microsecond of latency to reach to the other card. So you can network all this together and you can have amazing performance is just not possible by networking the CPUs only. And further, there are uh, there are like these memory channels, th there's 32 memory channels provided in LVO cards, for example, in uh, U55C uh, LVO card, which allows you to do stall free access. So you can lay out your data and variables at and different parts of the memory, and then you can build circuit which sort of accesses this data in parallel uh, without getting stalled ever. Next slide. Now to allow you to access and harness uh, all the power of FPGA, we have made it very easy. So we have worked with TigerOff to connect uh, our runtime software with TigerOff uh, with almost no overhead. So that from TigerOff, whether you are writing your GSQL code or you're writing your custom UDF, or even if you're writing your Python code and talking to TigerOff through REST API, doesn't matter you have access to the acceleration uh, almost like a drop in replacement. So if today, if you're using GSQL code, uh, you can keep using that. And once you once you connect to this uh, LVO uh, card, uh, you just still click the button or just submit your query and things just seamlessly accelerate. Go to the next card, next slide. So I wanted to share with you a few examples on how uh, and what sort of acceleration has been achieved. So in this example, we are showing a supply chain optimized and using maximal independent set. So the idea here is that you have different uh, work orders that you receive from your customer. And, and then you allow, you uh, allocate, you know, trucks and drivers, et cetera, to execute that work order so you can deliver uh, your goods. Uh, to, to your customer. Uh, so what we do is that you create a conflict graph. So what you do is if, if there is two travel plans or two trips, if they have anything that's being shared like truck or driver, you have an edge. So once you have this conflict graph created, then you run this algorithm called maximal independent set. Uh, the, your, your goal is to find all the trips which do not share a direct edge between them. So, so once you find that, now that's your first set of delivery and you can do them in parallel. And once those are done, you mark them sort of deleted or you extract from the graph and then you're again done maximal independence. So you just do iteratively to schedule most optimal uh, your delivery plan that you can have. Go to the next slide. So this slide shows a comparison of if you ran only CPU versus you ran CPU plus LVO combined, what sort of performance gain you'll get. So on the left side, it shows that CPU plus LVO combined, uh, that's getting you 10% bigger maximal independence. So, so, so in every iteration, you are able to identify uh, a more parallel operation you can do. So that really uh, cuts down your cost and it increases your customer satisfaction. And the right side, it shows that it not only finds a bigger maximal independent set, it's able to do that on average 260X faster uh, in every iteration, which is amazing. So, so much faster. We ran on one customer data set that took five days to, to schedule all the travel plans just on CPU only. When we combined with CPU with LVO, it was like 15 minutes. So like amazing performance gain. Go to the next slide. Another example I want to share is where you are, this, this, this one is being done uh, for a large bank and they have a pair of identities, let's say a phone number and a social security number. So they want to find how many and hop paths, in this case, five hop paths exist between a phone number and social security number so that they can find fraudulent activities or they can assess the risk of uh, defaulting. 
So you go from a phone number to all the applications linked with that phone number. From that application, you go to all the personally identifiable information, uh, such as email, et cetera. And from there, you go to all the applications linked with that. From there, you go to all the IDs. And eventually, you're looking for this end social security ID number. So you can see that there's so many paths you have to travel. So it just your compute complexity sort of explodes. Uh, so for that, what we have done is we have put together these Alveo cards, connected them through uh, Ethernet switch. And there are multiple independent kernels running on each of these LVO cards, they look at a partition of graph uh, independently. And then when they find that they need to, to go to the partition of partition stored in another LVO card, they send a message over ethernet to the other card and other card then processes and ultimately converges and the converged data is stored on the card. So that's aggregated. And then later on, when all this compute converges, the aggregated data is uploaded to CPU and the result is presented. And we are seeing like 100x plus acceleration uh, for this. Uh, this is still work in progress, but so far, uh, and we haven't really shipped this this yet. We'll be we'll be doing that soon. But this tells you sort of like the scale of compute and the scale of data we can handle uh, and provide a value. So there's no limitation on how big a graph has to be to use our solution. Any size of graph, any size of compute complexity we can handle with AMD Epic CPU and AMD LVO card. Next slide. So this slide shows some of the some of the algorithms we have recently built and have been shipping. So you can see that maximal dependent set uh, is 250x faster as Vinay talked about, and it gives a better MIS size, 10% better. Uh, Levenstein distance for fraud detection, 100x faster. Uh, Levenstein distance for entity resolution, uh, 100x faster. Lewin modularity for fraud detection, you know, 45x faster. In case of Lewin modularity, we also reduce the system memory requirement. So if you ran on CPU only, you'll, you need a lot more RAM. But if you ran with LVO, then the RAM requirement goes down. And cosine similarity, 90x. And I just mentioned about the and hop graph traversal, that's 100x. Uh, and in addition to that, we are we are starting to build uh, the ML related accelerations. So ML embedding creation fast RP we are doing for one of the customer that's 50x, and that these last two are not yet out shipping. Uh, we'll be shipping that in coming months, and all of these uh, the ones which are shipping already they are available in GitHub and anybody can sort of use it. Next slide. So we are uh, very interested in helping you out to help uh, you take advantage of the acceleration AMD LVO offers. So we are running this uh, proof of value program. If you have a compute challenge uh, that you're struggling with, uh, or you would like to save cost, or you like to just get faster uh, compute for yourself, for your problem, please contact uh, vinay.singh at amd.com to join this program and we'll be very glad to help you out and uh, get you to really succeed and deliver unprecedented value for your customers. Thank you.